So my name is Jan Bulas, and uh, my co-authors is uh, Magdalena Okońska and Piotr Kotowicz. Me and Magda, we are from Jagiellonian University, Krakow, and Piotr is from Historical Museum of Sanok. Uh, the name of the mountain is Wroczeń. Uh, and, okay, so let's uh, start. Uh, I will be talking today about what we think is really fascinating and interesting place uh, located in the southeast of Poland. Uh, it's called Wroczeń Mountain again. It is located in the upper uh, Sun River Basin. And uh, I will just start from a few preliminary information. Uh, because before the start of this decade, we knew only one metal deposit from the whole region uh, dated to the Bronze Age. However, due to the very intensified uh, metal detectoring, uh, illegal metal, metal detectoring in the region, now we have much more uh, metal deposits from the region of different dating. Um, and it, there is a good and a bad news. The bad news is that we don't know how many of them just disappear from our rec record. The good news is that thanks to the very uh, active role of my colleague Piotr, we are able sometimes to um, uh, to excavate those uh, finds in situ and uh, and retrieve them uh, from their original locations. So, uh, so I won't be talking about all of those deposits uh, in the mountains because uh, the talk is too short. However, uh, uh, just to give you the impression, there is really a lot of metal deposits dating to the Bronze Age and the Iron Age uh, from this region right now. They uh, share a few uh, common um, characteristics. They often have uh, uh, bronze wires, bracelets, necklaces, uh, axes, and co very often uh, parts of agricultural uh, tools. And they are, uh, in most cases, located high in the, in, on the mountain, not as high as 2,000 meters. It's, they are, the mountains are not so high, but close to the peak of the mountains. Uh, so here you uh, see the examples of those of those metal deposits. Uh, this is the earliest Iron Age deposit we know from that region, uh, dated to the uh, Hallstatt period. But in this talk, we will concentrate on the what we think is the most important, at least in uh, current state of research, the most important place, the Wroczeń Mountain, uh, 498 meters high. Uh, and as you can see, it is really a lonely mountain. It has completely different shape than other mountains in the region. Uh, and uh, what is important to say, it is located in the border, on the border of different geographical regions. To the southeast, we have the Swanne Mountains, uh, which are ranges of, of mountains. Uh, to the north, uh, there, are, there is uh, Bukowski uphill, to the south, sorry, to the south we have Bukowski uphill, to the north we have Dinovsky uphill, of also different characteristic, different landscapes, and to the west we have a flat basin, uh, so the Wroczeń mountain is really well visible from the very distant uh, areas, and it is a very important landmark uh, in the landscape. And why it is uh, important, the reason for that is that it is the only place we uh, can see a continuing uh, tradition of depositing metal objects through the uh, prehistory. Uh, this is the uh, earliest uh, known deposit from, uh, from the mountain, uh, dating to the uh, early Hallstatt. And again, it consists of the um, bracelets, necklaces, uh, eggs, and um, agricultural tools. This is the, uh, another one. You will see the overview. Uh, unfortunately, it's not in our hands yet. Uh, the fragments of golden wire and close by also the sickles were found. What is important to say is that all of those deposits are very, they were located very shallow. Like uh, the, the metal detectorists in most cases didn't have to dig deep. They were just in the topsoil. Uh, so uh, excavations and sondage excavations that we made uh, afterwards didn't give us any context of any features or, or of any kind. Uh, and this is uh, not a 
deposit of different metals, but also an important uh, find that gives us uh, the information about uh, dating of uh, of people activity on the mountain, because it's uh, Fustier Fibon dated dating the Hallstatt D. But what is most interesting on the site are Latin period uh, deposits. Uh, and uh, here, to just give you some, uh, a little bit of background, we don't really know a lot about uh, settlement chronology in this region. There are really little, um, uh, not, not that much finds that uh, gives us a good overview that would say what is the continuity of settlement from the Hallstatt period to the Latin period and later to the Roman period. So actually those metal finds are basically 90% of all metal finds from the whole region. So uh, it's not like we have different settlements when we have, where we have, I don't know, uh, brooches or different chronologically uh, distinctive finds that allow us, us to, to show the continuity uh, very well in the whole region. So it's not only from, it's important place not only for us from the uh, point of view of importance of the mountain, but for a whole understanding of the whole settlement structure uh, in the region. So in this deposit, you can see the uh, Durnberg type uh, knife and also agricultural tools and uh, some axes. And uh, most probable it was the same deposit as the uh, it, it, it was originally the same deposit with the uh, two anklets, uh, also very good dating evidence for uh, third century before Christ, and this is one of the earliest evidence of for Latin period um, uh, people in this uh, in this region. However, there is a problem: the Latin period deposits are located on the really steep slope, and we really don't know. Uh, if at le and we don't know if those two deposits was originally one because it is quite possible that it eroded from the uh, upper parts of the of the mountain. And this is the second Latin period deposit consisting again agricultural tools and some uh, iron fragments uh, of the horse harshness. And uh, right now you can see the pattern that continues from the. Bronze Age to the Latin period that we have those uh, the same objects in in those deposits, arm rings, agricultural tools, uh, fragments of uh, horse harnesses. Um, there are the same type of objects all the time. And what is uh, if you I won't elaborate more about those uh, finds, but uh, the Latin period. The finds were already published. You can find those publications easy in the internet. If you would like to have close information about the Latin period finds, you can find them uh, published by my colleagues Tomasz Bochnak and uh, Piotr, uh, Piotr Kotowicz, as well as uh, Zanna Pielowska. And we have one very interesting and important uh, analogy for our mountain, which would be only second such an important site um, related to the religious or uh, um, ritual practices. It is a famous site in the Schlenza mountain um, in the western Poland. You will hear more about it in the next paper, I believe, so I won't tell you more right now. Uh, but it is considered to be one of the most important religious sites for the prehistory in the whole uh, region and it's a very important landmark as well. Uh, uh, however, the story of the mountain doesn't end on the Latin period. Uh, there is more, however, the history of the metal deposits ends, which is very interesting because uh, we don't know uh, how it relates to the changes of population in that region. Um, and uh, as you can see, which I didn't mention before, all of those uh, deposits are again located high uh, on the mountain. There is one find uh, which is uh, most ambiguous for us because we, not, we are not sure how to date it and we know uh, really not a lot about this find. It can be a Roman period, which would be really strange, but it can be also early medieval period. So just uh, uh, to show you that there, is, there, is, there are some mysteries for us still. However, the main story relates to the Roman period, 
which is one of the most important settlement periods in that region, uh, as we know many sites from that time uh, in the area. Uh, we think that in this period of time, it, the region was very densely populated in comparison with previous periods and also with the later periods. Uh, however, from that period of time, we do not know any deposits on any mountains. So we can see a change of, uh, of attitude towards those uh, mountains and surroundings. However, uh, in the la just last year, we finished excavating a very small burial ground uh, just on the uh, uh, foot of the mountain, on the slopes on the foot of the mountain, uh, which was also quite remarkable. Uh, I won't be talking about each graves, I'm just showing you the, for the impression. We had 10 graves, half of them were very richly furnished with weaponry, Roman imports, uh, and, uh, and uh, what is, and actually we do not know uh, if the location of the burial ground is actually connected with the importance of the mountain. Or is it just uh, uh, in connection with the fact that we have also two uh, important settlements uh, or interesting, maybe we don't know how important they, they were, but uh, we have two settlements from that period just nearby. And th the problem is we do not have any good context as it is the only, only the second burial ground from the whole southeastern Polish region. So we do not know what, are, what were the practices and what was the um, what was the typical practice of setting the burial grounds in that period in that region. However, it is still uh, very uh, interesting because, uh, because usually we, the Trevor's culture, which is the culture occupying this region in the Roman period, is the most rich in weaponry, in graves, uh, from all uh, European barbaricum, and still half of the graves being furnished so richly is quite remarkable. So just to post a few questions to the end, we, there are much more, of course, uh, but I think the first one uh, is quite obvious, and, uh, and we can answer them that, yes, we think that the mountain was a really important place from the Bronze Age to the Latin period, as a place of ritual activities, may be connected with the agricultural calendar. Unfortunately, we do not have a St. Patrick's seat and the rolling sun, uh, so we cannot actually say anything more about it right now, but it's quite, uh, it's quite possible that it is connected with, uh, with the agricultural uh, calendar. Uh, and the other questions are important as well. For me, one of the most interesting is that if the, uh, if, the, um, if the religious system changed between the Latin period and the Roman period, as we have a new population, Trevor's culture population came from the north, from the lowlands, so it is a question if just the uh, attitude to the, to the mountains changed with the traditions brought from the uh, other type of landscape. So thank you for your attention. Thank you.